What's up YouTube? Justin here. Today I'm going to give you some short information on BMX bike chains. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is a full link BMX bike chain. So as you can see, there's a whole link here. So this is what a half link looks like. I will explain that here in a minute. But the full link is going to be better for BMX racing bikes. They are slightly lighter. It's an easier install since it's a master link. Then it also is a lot cheaper. Now this chain, I can get a full one for about nine to 10 bucks. You can get one at Walmart. You can get one at any bicycle store. $9 to $20 is the most you're going to want to ever spend on a full link. The only cons are it's weaker and it's better to replace to completely instead of you know, replacing a link or two. It's just going to be better. They wear out a lot quicker, but, you know, still a good chain. Have no complaints there. That's the full link. All right, now here's the pros and cons of the half link chain. Let's go with the pros first. Obviously, it's better for street riding and freestyle. Also, it depends on, you know, if you're riding street and, you know, you want to go with the full link because it's cheaper or it's your preference. Go right ahead, it's just going to snap easier, all this and that. But better for street riding and freestyle. They are thicker links, which is why it's great for street riding, because it's a less chance of snapping a link. They're easier to just replace a link, because it's cheaper to replace a link, in my opinion, rather than replacing the whole um, chain itself. Because like this chain, it is a Shadow Conspiracy Master Link V2 Interlock chain, which is over 50 bucks usually. Probably about runs you about thirty to fifty dollars for a half link chain, and then you know obviously since it's a tougher chain, it's going to be a bit heavier. It's got a master pin instead of a master link, so that's also means you're going to need a more expensive chain breaker, which is probably about a twenty dollar difference compared to a Park Tool full link chain breaker, um, due to it being a master pin rather than a master link. So it's also, that means it's going to be a lot more money. It's going to be a lot more complicated to install for a newer DIY wire. Um, other than that, there's not too many cons. I personally prefer a half link over a full link just because I prefer to ride freestyle and street, which also includes parks. Um, you know, if I was still racing BMX like I did as a kid, you know, rode at a dirt track more often, more frequently, and had a bigger sprocket and everything, obviously I'm going to be riding a full link. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Again, it's mostly preference and or opinions. Really, preference is opinion, same thing, yada yada. But, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed the content so far. Please, give it a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace out.